Okay, howdy peeps and peoples. I've not been, what we're doing today is we're, we're getting a little farther along on this. John Deere, teammate for 14,000 pound axle. Uh, I have not been covering it real well. What we've had is we had the, uh, the Diffie Lock um, thrust bearing go out of this thing and eat itself and eat a bunch of stuff up in this rear end because we'd actually run it probably too long. That's probably what we've done here. Once the Diffie Lock quits working in these teammate fours, probably time to shut her down and do something about it. It's not like the old axles where you just got diffy lock problems, pump problems, you know. So that's kind of what's got us into this. So we have uh, did tear down, and now we're starting to put back together. This planetary section here was eight up, so we're replacing some stuff in it and putting it back together. I wanted to, <clears throat> I wanted to show this little part here. I know probably most of you watching this knows more about this stuff than I do. I'm just a guy beating and thrashing around trying to do my thing to help minimize ginormous costs and utilize some time here and utilize some help here that's uh you know and that type of stuff to try to minimize the uh, the sting of this thrust bearing debacle here we got going on here uh, these are the bearings i'm putting in here of the on the planetary the planet gears i bought from uh, schaefer enterprises out there in wolf lake illinois uh, Andy's a fantastic dude, uh, has always took good care of us in the past, uh, love, love the guy, uh, anybody needs any of this old John Deere stuff or anything like that, call them, and they do got, uh, they are dealers for some aftermarket parts and stuff like that, so Andy can get you quite, took, took care of quite well on most any older non-current John Deere models, that type of thing. Uh, in the industrial and logging equipment. So, uh, commercial and logging equipment is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, this is a little plug for Andy. Uh, I hope you hear this, Andy. Uh, thank you, buddy, for taking care of me. So, uh, I got the Planet Gears from Andy. And, uh, and uh, I'm putting the bearings back in there. And putting the bearings that I took out of the original gears into these. Because uh, uh, the bearings, and the needle bearings in the planetary gears here were good. Uh, but the gears themselves had chunks tore off of them. Basically, when that thrust bearing came apart, little pieces and chunks started flowing through the rear end and tearing up everything it could get its hands on and then started making more metal. And then when, and those of you that's familiar with rear end issues, once you start making metal, then the metal makes more metal. So, yeah. And the longer you run it, the worse it gets when you got a, re a rear end that's howling at you real loud, or you got a rear end, in the case of this Teammate 4, you got a rear end that's, the diffy locks quit working, uh, I will know now to look for this. Now, I complain a little bit about this axle uh, setup, you know, because, and the reason I complain is because I'm so used to Deer's quality in these axles that it really surprised me that they done this with that thrust bearing on these teammate fours because uh, that was uh, mm, like in the old days, like these old skidders and stuff, the, the teammate, what, threes, I want to say, the twos and threes or whatever, you, if you got a 14,000 axle and a 640 skidder, you, you never touched it. I mean, you just didn't even think about it. You keep the oil in it, you change your oil, do your maintenance, but you never even think about it. So when you go to the 14,000 axle and the teammate, or you expect nothing but better, more of the same and better, and, and to get into this situation and find this with this thrust bearing was <laughs> quite the eye opener, I have to say. But I didn't like the way the cage was on it. That didn't impress me none. But I mean, the rest of the rear end looks fantastic. It's a heavy duty, daggone, the typical John Deere, heavy duty, nice, sweet running inboard planetary rear end. And uh, if you need to see a little more info on the rear end, you can look at the last video here that I've done before this one. And I got one more video after this one. Uh, and we'll get this all the way together and get to skidding some wood in it in the next video. So, <clears throat> to, in this one, we will get this 
planetary together. We will get the, the quill set up together, which would take in the spider gears and the ring gear and the diffy lock clutches and uh, all that mess put together and then torqued down and then dropped into the quill housing or the pumpkin or the hog head, however you uh, pronounce all that from where you're from. So, hope you like it. Yeah. That's all relative. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. To realizing what he's missing. Yeah. Yep. But he still drinks every day. He still gets fucked up. Roger's camera shy. <laughs> now, do you think I'll lose these before I... So I'm gonna start putting this together, and I don't know if I'm supposed to lose this or not, but guess what? It's getting loud. <laughs> Excuse me, but I need to lube up your gears. Buffer. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the hell to do. I don't think I'm supposed to leave in bolt holes, though. I better spray them back out and brake clean. Propane tank making hell of pain. Bobby. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Upside down, and I got to build another thing first. Oh. 
There's two more besides this. There's two of them Okay. Well, Damn. that's your fault too, Roger. That ain't my fault. I'm not going to okay. do anything. What that game is running there? He bought it. My fault. Now what the hell? You fucking break all over, bro. Roger! Oh, God, I got it. I got it. I think I got it. Oh, God. Oh, we got it, bud. Okay. I bet he can remember. I bet he can remember. I'll take my brother. We're gonna need these here too, Roger Dodgers. See, I can't figure out how them springy dings work. Wedding ring. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's go in first. Roger didn't remember how he took this apart. You know, I wasn't here when he took it apart. Fucking Roger. Yeah, I know. Him, him and the Amish boy took it apart. The Amish ain't got nothing like that. The <laughs> so Roger said buggies ain't got nothing like that. I don't know no buggies. <laughs> right. I remember how that was a pain in the ass. Okay. Well, this here, we're well, in that gear. Yeah. So I had to go. Whoop. And then I had to put all our whooping dudes on this. Yeah. <laughs> then push it through. <laughs> and then pull it all the way back. See that one takes all the way through. So this is in here, and this is the other one in the picture back. And now the other one is just coming up to like the top. Yeah. Roger, this is for the rubber noodle. I don't know. I'll play the silly games, Roger. I don't know, I didn't get to the park. I was like, I was here. For most of it, but when you started to actually take it apart, I don't remember. I heard what I'm doing. Well, here, you can do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do this. Yeah, you don't get the hardest knots in the middle. What do you think is the name for a different load of a nice flat back? And this bracket here can go like this. Well, ours has the, the window comes in here, and the old bracket is in there. Put it out here, it's too far, it won't grab it. But it goes on the inside though, don't it? Right. And you went in there and it don't fit? Yeah, I'll show you. Hey, wait. You yes. got a real bad problem here getting nice every round in your arm. Yeah, yeah. He uh, them, them fucking things work. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, yeah, I got it. Well, I was going to buy me one of these. Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, yeah. Put it on the, put the bottle on the muscle that hurts. All right, all right. Propane tank making hell of bank. Ah! Like it's nothing. Like it's not nothing, Roger. Like it's nothing. Like it's not nothing. Not now, not never. Brat, brat. Roger, you're gonna need a lot more gear. This is gonna work. Brat, brat. We get this gear together, Roger. I'll teach you how to drive it. Oh. He says he forgot more than I ever learned about gear driving. <laughs> Yeah, that was 
All right, here you go, Zach. Here's your springs coming with your order. Hi. I turned it on and Roger pulled his shirt off his top of his. <laughs> yeah, he's acting camera shot. So we got two of them in there. Brat, brat. So it's got some brat to it. We got ways to go yet. Just wait on Roger. He's over there farting around. So. What? All right, so me, while this was on time lapse, me and Roger's been arguing, and he's straightened out how it's supposed to go now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set this. No, I can't set this down. That's gotta be the bottom. I gotta turn this over. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's more like it. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. Well, we tighten it up, it'll draw in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here, hold this line, I'll get it lined up. Oh boy, I said it's lined up. <laughs> that ain't gonna be as easy as it would. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to get I just did. You <laughs> Hello? From, from what? Okay, huh? Well, I was kind of putting that off. <laughs> okay. Okay, it works. Cut the key. Yep. <laughs> Turn the key on, I'll get a Let's cut the <laughs> now, here's how this goes. This is where I learned last year. Okay. Like that. 
It's only going to 55, it's going to be too wild with Pins both the hold it centered, but we got this in because I told him how to do it right. Mikey walked up and I had to tell him how to do it. He said, What are you doing? I... <laughs> Whatever.
big part of where Oh, he's got back to college and all. 